Good morning, my darlings. Coming to you now from our bathroom. I'm literally wandering around the house trying to find somewhere that's not about 10,000 degrees to start the vlog. But as you can tell by the attire, I'm greeting you with the heatwave version of Josie. I'm wearing a cute little bikini and then I've just popped this super old Topshop dress on over the top. And <laughs> I know you're pretty bored of hearing it, but literally melting. I think this will be the last melting vlog because the rain is coming next week so of course I'm making the most of it. Charlie and I started off our Friday morning at Soho Farmhouse which was just glorious. We got there super early, Charlie did a gym session, I went for a swim. I managed 30 lengths in the outside pool which was heavenly but then after that it got so busy and there were people swimming either side of me super close, splashing and making it really choppy and I was like this is just not enjoyable. So I ended up just going on at the sun lounges for a bit. We got um, this amazing egg run bap for breakfast and it was so delicious and then headed home when it started to get really busy and now we're just, well, basically just trying <laughs> to not melt. Um, but as always, I've got on, this is actually one of Charlie's old caps. It's just great for keeping the sun out of my face, reflecting the sun off my head, stops me getting headaches. Um, and to be honest, my plans for the next couple of hours, I'm just gonna run through the sprinklers <laughs> over and over again. Um, maybe do a tiny bit of gardening, nothing too taxing obviously because it's just impossible, but I think I'm gonna go and do a little bit of deadheading in the cut flower garden. Okay, my darlings, I've done some deadheading and a little bit of flower picking and I honestly can do no more outside because it is so toasty and there's not a single breeze. So I'm gonna get started on a couple of bits for tonight's picnic. We're heading up to the sunflower field with Rory and Nathan and I thought I would start with this courgette and double cheese quiche. I've never made a quiche before, so <laughs> taking a little bit of a risk here. It's a Tom Carriage recipe on the BBC Good Food website. These are the ingredients that we need just for the pastry. So let's see, I think I literally just blitz this all together. All of this and just two tablespoons of water and then knead a few times to make into a smooth pastry. Luckily we've got the Thermomix, so we should be okay. Well, that was fairly easy. The tart base or quiche base is now in the fridge and for the filling we've got some spring onions and then some courgette and fresh thyme from the garden. I'm also going to be crumbling in some blue cheese and the recipe calls for onion marmalade but while in the fridge I also spotted that we've got some gin marmalade so I thought I would add that in as well. Um, and I think I also need some dull cream, a whole egg and two more egg yolks. Okay, let's get cracking. I really am multitasking today, so while the courgettes and spring onions that I've just sliced are hopefully draining a little bit, obviously courgettes are just full of moisture, so hopefully they will drain a little bit in the colander over there. As per the recipe instructions, the next thing that I'm going to try, this is my saved page on Instagram. Someone actually sent me this the other day. Ooh. And it is essentially courgettes sliced up, puff pastry. I mean, it looks fairly easy. I've got courgettes, I've got thyme, I've got olive oil, I've got puff pastry, I've got some cheese. And then you roll it up and you put it in a muffin tin. I think this is absolutely genius. And how beautiful. I'm gutted I don't have any yellow courgettes. Mine are going to be all green. Um, but I think that looks fabulous. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is do some crescent shaped slices. Hmm, should be fun. Ok, 
Okay, my darlings, it's never quite as beautiful as it is on Instagram, but here are my muffins. I'm not showing you this one because that well, doesn't look that bad, but a couple of bits fell out, so this is going to be my one. So we've got goat's cheese, and we've got the courgettes, we've got a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, um, and some thyme from the garden. It's nice to just scrunch it over. So these are now going to go in at the oven for about 20 minutes. I really hope they come out nicely and um, I'm not sure if maybe I should serve them warm so I might just heat them up a little bit later as well. first of my courgette dishes is complete. The little courgette muffins came out really really nicely. Um, they actually came out with the muffin tins easier than expected which is great. So I've put them on this enamel um, metal dish thing so I can put them in the oven just for five minutes to warm them up before we eat them and it's also pretty for presentation. And here we go my darlings, I've not been very good at explaining what I'm doing, oh we've got a dribble, um, but this is my runner bean with a kind of honey mustard um, dressing with some toasted almonds and feta cheese, I'm going to pop this in the fridge so that it's nice and cool and fresh for when we eat a little bit later. Okay my darlings, I've got major deja vu because literally this exact same thing happened yesterday and I vlogged it this exact time yesterday, but I've had my post afternoon in the sun shower, popped on a tiny bit of makeup and popped on something from Club Monaco, <laughs> do you have deja vu, um, which is heat wave appropriate. Rory and Nathan will probably realistically be here in four minutes <laughs> because they said they were coming at 6.30 and I have never met anyone as prompt as Rory and Nathan, love them. Um, so I have been cooking, literally it feels like all afternoon, and I have three or four dishes to show for it, all courgette themed, actually there's a bean dish, runner bean dish too. I thought I would actually give you a little outfit of the evening, seeing as I forgot to do that last night. It's a really lovely, it is quite old, um, linen jumpsuit. Again from Club Monaco, just really nice, perfect for these hot afternoons because it's nice and breathable. Excuse the winter coats on the bed behind me. Um, but yes, I have literally spent the entire, what feels like, afternoon um, preparing the courgette dishes, courgette and bean salad. and. I, as you have probably spotted, get my inspiration for cooking from here, there and everywhere, from Instagram, from BBC Good Food, from Cookie Do, and one of the ways that I like to find even more recipes is by using my Surfshark. Firstly, I got the idea from my mum to use Surfshark, put my Cookie Do, which is the app that Thermomix gets its recipes from, into Spanish mode so that I can see paella and other Spanish recipes. But say for example you can't access BBC food in your country, or there's another recipe website or blog or app that you can't access, how Surfshark works as a VPN, virtual private network, is it takes your device and places it anywhere that you choose within reason in the world. It can work across multiple devices, so I have it on my phone, my tablet, my laptop, and then your entire device will think that it's in a different country. So obviously when we were travelling over summer for watching Love Island, it was amazing. If you have got a Netflix series that you're watching in your home country and then you go on holiday, you can just put your Surfshark back to your home country and carry on watching it. That is really, really useful, especially for Netflix and other kind of TV apps, whether it's ITV or BBC. There are so, so many use cases and cooking apps is just one of my favourites. So darlings, as always, I do have my discount code which will be on the screen here and at the very top of the description box. That will get you 83% off and three extra months for free. You can also get the antivirus, that's another thing that I absolutely love. When you use your VPN, your computer essentially has another layer of protection on it. So if you are browsing 
on an unfamiliar network, you can feel comfortable and confident that your information is not going anywhere that it shouldn't. You guys know I've been working with Surfshark for over a year. I love it. I keep thinking of more use cases and let me know your favourite use cases down below because I always think it's so fascinating. There's so many things that I don't even think of and then you guys let me know that you do. So let me know. I just heard Charlie's phone ring. <laughs> so I think the boys are here. So I need to very quickly lay the table and then it's time to enjoy our evening. Look at these boys. They've come in their convertible. Such poses. I love it. beautiful morning Saturday morning for some reason I woke up at six o'clock in the morning I don't know why um, but I did a little bit of flower picking and actually scheduled a load of emails to go out on Monday because then I can just not have to think about work for the whole weekend so last night we went for the picnic as you saw at the sunflower field and it was just absolutely gorgeous the perfect evening a really lovely spot um, we took pims we had some rosé the courgette muffin type twirly flower things were delicious really really nice evening and today is our village's country fair um, we've not been to one before it's not been happening since we've lived in this village because of covid the last couple of years but uh, this morning charlie and i went on a little walk and we did the scarecrow trail so a few people around the village have created scarecrows inspired by pop stars as a theme this year so we sh we saw jerry halliwell um <laughs> we saw a couple of ed sheerans there was a was it cheryl crow yeah and i think the winning scarecrow will be announced at the village at the country fair later on so we're gonna head there around lunchtime just setting up behind me here for brunch we've had to move both of the umbrellas to be around the table because it's just too hot to sit in the direct sunshine dexy's found a nice little shady spot on the sofa we could not be any more cliche, picked up a couple of copies of Country Life and the English Garden from the village shop on our walk this morning. So I'm just gonna enjoy a bit of the morning sun, have a flick through these before it gets too hot. Oh my goodness. Mm. I swear the, prop property pa the property pages are always my absolute favorite. Wow. Stunning. Oh my goodness. <gasps> 15 million pounds for a coastal estate, but look at that. Oh my gosh. Imagine. If you guys could have a house anywhere in the world, where would it be? Oh my gosh. I love this style. It's kind of like South African um, farmhouse style. Wow. Hey, my bum bum.
made it to the country fair. Our mm. first quarter pull was ice cream. Raspberry ripple. Yeah, I get raspberry ripple as well. Mm. Mm. Raspberry ripple is great. Uh -huh. it's I feel quite, like it's quite um, a British thing, isn't it? For me, it's very the nostalgic. Girls me, um, mm. a squad meet yeah. today. Really nice. So right. There's a vegetable competition, a flower competition. A week. All the local Over businesses the week, are here. Each day, so we're going to have a little wow, Well, I didn't realise that people are winning cups for the competitions. I reckon I'd have stood luck going all the time. I reckon I'd have stood a good chance of winning the sweet pea cup. Yeah. I think with my sweet peas. You should do them next I'm going to. Who can grow the biggest courgette? I think I'd win that one as well. Here are the prize winning honeys and the judges comments. Beware surface residue. <laughs> Who's won the best eggs in the village? And how are they judging these? They all look very similar to me. Mm. I'd say that one's, Jack hasn't won this that one's got her eggs shape are the best. It. For me, Jack, Jackie's the one. This is first, second and third prize of the best sweet peas in the village. I have to say, these are very good, with the purple around the edge. But I still think I could have put them to the post. Mm -hmm. And they are very good sweet peas. Mm -hmm. From Mary. Wow, what are these? Like they flocks. Mm -hmm. Sweet Williams. These are the award-winning vegetables. I they are the best looking carrots I've ever seen. Do you know what though? I would I like I like purple carrot like when they're a bit a mixed. Purple carrot. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a purple <gasps> carrot award. Courgettes. These here are the award-winning courgettes. not a country fair without a tractor display. Notice there's no JCBs. Combine harvester. Of course they've got a great um, panoramic view in there haven't they? Charlie's spotted a defender. That's a nice colour isn't it? Very nice. Yeah very yeah, much. It's much darker. amazing hello again darlings it's a few hours later now <laughs> my goodness I look I look roasted quite frankly it has been an absolute scorcher we only spent about an hour at the country fair because it was just it was just too hot um, but it was really lovely to see so many of the village's businesses lots of familiar faces um, there was the flower competition with medals with trophies that you can win <laughs> so I need to get my act together and actually enter next year. I feel like I wouldn't have won the sweet pea competition because, was it Alan? Whoever won the sweet pea competition, his sweet peas were sensational. I think I just stood a good chance of getting in the top three for the single stem, stem flower competition, um, some of the vegetable competitions, I think I could have smashed it. And yeah, I feel like I learn so much every year that... <laughs> How funny would it be, YouTuber becomes prize winning flower and vegetable grower. Fantastic career trajectory that would be, and I'm not even joking. <laughs> that is what my wholesome dreams are made of these days. I just love the end of day cleanse when it's been a super hot day. I'm using my Elemis 
Rose Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I feel like the rose in this is just so calming. It's so good for after a super hot day. And I still have my discount code. Not for much longer though. So if you do want any Elemis top-ups, Josie F25 is the code that you need. And um, yeah, I think it's probably going to run for like another week. So make the most of it. I'm going to leave this on my skin while we chat. Thinking about next weekend, as a reminder for you guys, Park Fair. It's going to be so much fun. I'm making plans with my friends, what we're going to do each day. Uh, not sure what the weather's going to be like, but I feel like it's going to be amazing either way. I'm definitely going to go to the time canopy making workshops i'm gonna to go to the cocktail masterclasses. i think they're free aurelia skincare are doing uh skincare classes and then there's gonna be loads of local businesses chloe's pilates quince and clover obviously time there's gonna be local uh like product businesses there old school fairground rides i can't wait and I feel like I'm doing the QVC thing, but they did <laughs> give me a discount code as well, Josie 10 if you are interested in coming along to the park fair. I think it's going to be amazing. You might still be able to come to the sunflowers as well, which was just sensational last night um, in the golden hour. It's so magical. So if you can, come down um, and experience the sunflowers, explore the area. So much going on in this area this time of year. I just absolutely love it. What else do I have to fill you in on? <laughs> oh, we've got a super sociable weekend. We've got, what have we got going on tomorrow? Millie and Callum coming over. So that's gonna be a really nice um, day in the sunshine. I need to take this off now. The reason I'm in my sports bra is I thought I would actually try and do a Peloton. It's around half seven in the evening. It starts to significantly cool off so I thought now is my time to do a peloton because when it's been so hot this week I've literally done no exercise whatsoever I don't know if you heard that <laughs> I said I've done no exercise whatsoever this week I have been finding though with my smoothies that I've been having in the morning um the wild nutrition ones again discount code <laughs> I'm sorry but it's because I work with brands that I absolutely adore I do want to talk about them naturally and when they are so kind as to give a discount code I want to share it with you. They did say when I had the call with the nutritionalist she did say that one of the benefits of putting this protein powder in my morning smoothies would be that I wouldn't snack so much and I was listening to I'm obsessed with 60 Minute Australia. They do the most amazing long YouTube videos. They do like investigations and one of them it was such clickbait but it was like why French people or Mediterranean people have the best diets. I hate diets, so I'll just stick that out there. And I have never ever labeled my diet. I would never say I'm plant-based or, I couldn't even name any diets. But what I do recognize is that I look and feel my best when I don't snack so much. And having had these um, three spoonfuls of the Wild Nutrition protein powder in my morning smoothies, I just don't find myself wanting to snack which is amazing because normally I'm a snackaholic so that's been great I need to take my evening vitamins now get my body moving after a very hot day lying in the sun with a peloton I do get asked a lot about Adenola discount codes I'm afraid I don't have one at the moment um, hopefully I will do soon in a couple of weeks but this is my favorite little Adenola set at the moment. Right, serum. Okay, Peloton done, and I feel much better for it. Um, and now we're doing our pre bed evening routine so as we don't just end up being absolutely boiling in the middle of the night. There's not much of a breeze at the moment, so having the windows open doesn't really help. Um, but we have got one, two, Hidden behind the door, three Dyson fans on the go. One blasting at me, one blasting at Charlie, and one blasting generally onto the bed. Something else I think is really good is our bedding. This is of course from Linen Bundle, which you know I'm just obsessed with. Got a little mark on it there. Um, this is the gorgeous cream color. I think it's probably my favorite, although I do love their new sage color. And I think it's 500 thread count cotton it's almost got a little bit of a sateen finish but it's not shiny but the thing that's so good when it's a heat wave 
is that it's ultra breathable so it's really nice and temperature regulating really easy to wash really easy to iron because don't know about you but we're changing our bed linen so often when it's absolutely toasty you can get um the full set the same color or we've gone for the lighter bottom sheet i think my discount code at the moment is josie home 45 which is 45% off everything and a free pair of actual pillows um, on orders over £115, which is amazing. If you guys get my newsletter, you will be up to date with all the discount codes. I'll show you how nice the pink set looks. Ooh, la la. I'm sorry for the darkness, but we have an update. Don't know if you can see here in the gold bedroom. This is really exciting. So earlier in the week we had Caroline's um, assistant come and install these beautiful curtains here in what we call the gold room, which is currently just filled with miscellaneous <laughs> furniture. Um, we moved the dressing table from our master bedroom in here and it looks really lovely and it lends to this room being called the gold room but this is just fabulous. Obviously there's a huge window here in the gold room leading out onto the chapel. Um, and we do have a blind, but I think with the curtains in our bedroom, it really made us realize how curtains can really make a room feel a lot more finished. So we wanted to, as we have done in other parts of the house, bring the outside in with some green. Caroline always does ultra thick curtains lined, so there's absolutely no light coming in. And we chose, I can't remember where um, this fabric was from, but the trim I think is Samuel and Son, Sons. And I always think that it makes a huge difference with how luxurious um, your home furnishings look when they've got a lovely trim on them. So yeah, very, very pleased with that. And here we are in the pink room. Actually, this is... <laughs> I forgot we changed the bedding. This is actually the exact same bedding colour that we've got in our bedroom, but maybe the lighting is a little bit better in here and it's not been slept in. So it's freshly ironed sheets. You can see how gorgeous the cream coloured linen is. Fun fact, by the way, Soho Home. Um, I found out that they get a lot of their fabrics from a company called Pierre Frey. So I'm definitely going to be looking at um, that when it comes to home textiles, if we make any more curtains or anything like that. But um, yeah, Linen Bundle is where, as you probably know, we get all of our bedding and our towels from and they kind of have an always on discount code with me and if you're looking for bedding which is heat wave proof, couldn't recommend it any more highly. Sorry, I do look a little bit red and um, flustered after the Peloton but I also just want to say I feel like my energy level in this vlog has been pretty low and that's honestly just because it's so hot. Like, I can't be bubbly <laughs> and fun when I'm literally feel like my brain is melting so um yeah i'm gonna go to bed now hopefully i know it's still light outside but want to finish watching good neighbor on sky cinema um such a good film so far uh yeah so the reason that i'm low energy is because i'm melting <laughs> Good morning, my darlings. Coming to you from behind the steering wheel. I have just parked up in town, just getting a few last minute bits because we've got friends coming over today and I want to make froze. I realized I didn't really vlog that much yesterday. <laughs> Again, it was just too hot. Uh, we went to the village fair, which was so fun. Um, we really do have an amazing village. There's a great community spirit. I showed you some of the award-winning vegetables and flowers and I definitely need to take part in that competition next year. Um, I reckon I have quite a good chance of getting at least within the top three for maybe the single stem, the cut flowers, the herbaceous flowers, the best dahlia maybe, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, definitely going to take part in that next year. Um, and then we just spent the entire afternoon just outside in the garden. I actually read half of my book, Lessons in Chemistry. So far, I'm really enjoying it. So we've got our friends Millie and Callum coming over today. I just need to get some fresh strawberries and some other little bits and bobs to make frosé. So yeah, let's go.
table is laid with my lovely thyme uh, veggie garden tablecloth and I've put up the little business and pleasure marquee just so the dogs and us humans have a little bit of shade later on. Millie loves the sun just as much as I do so we definitely are going to want to spend some time out on the deck chairs. So now I'm back to making the frosé. The rosé has been in the freezer all morning, it does say it needs about six hours, so just about the time they get here will be the six hour mark. Now I'm preparing the strawberries, so frosé is essentially like a slush puppy, yummy, sugary, sweety <laughs> rosé drink, and you need to add 50 grams of sugar on some strawberries for about half an hour in the fridge so that the strawberries can infuse and release their flavour. So I've just made the thermomix go to zero and I'm going to add 50 grams of sugar on here. Okay, now I'm just going to leave these for about 30 minutes and the strawberries should just infuse and get a little bit more intense flavour-wise. Rosé is a great success. I prepared most of this before Millie and Cal got here and now I've just shoved everything in the blender, added an ice cube to the glass and it is absolutely delicious. Cheers darling. Ching! <laughs> 